Hey guys, thanks for joining us again on Working Class Outdoors. Today we have another opening day muzzleloader hunt here in North Carolina. Team member Jay Pope and his son Gannon went out to a property that they're, uh, they've hunted the last couple of years, but they're actually losing it this season. So Gannon had the green light on whatever he wanted to take and he got a, a nice little six pointer came out and he was able to get it. So uh, pretty successful hunt, hope you enjoy it. Jay gets a little long winded sometimes, but uh, it's a really good video and he gets really detailed and stuff like that. So anyway guys, hope you enjoy the video. As always, give us a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to our channel and remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. Thanks for watching. All right, it's opening day of uh, 2017 muzzleloader season. It's the evening hunt. Um, Gannon was too lazy to come this morning, so I came by myself and I'm bow hunting. But that's all right. He's he's young and he needs his rest. So he got his rest and um, it's 4.30. It gets dark at seven. We'll have about two hours to hunt, but just right. I wanted to see the first couple drives of the NC State Notre Dame game. Um, so far it's looking pretty good. Um, Hines is hurt, that uh, kind of concerns me. But anyway, we're gonna walk in here to the first box. Um, Brock was gonna hunt, but for whatever reason, he, he um, can't make it today. So it's just easier to um, slip into the first box. Don't have to have safety harnesses. Uh, don't have to take the camera arm. Just a lot simpler. So we're gonna go with the first box. And um, we got a camera at the G-Man ladder. That's where we were gonna hunt. So that's gonna tell us if we screwed up. So hopefully, we're not screwing up. So, Gannon chose, is so it's on him. If he screws up, or if, if he ends up not being able to shoot the big buck because he's over there at G-Man Ladder, it's on him, not on me. So, <laughs> he said he wants to shoot something, so I'm going to give him a green light on anything he wants to shoot the last 15 minutes of light. But up until then, we might be a little picky. So I don't want to shoot the first little deer that walks in. But toward dark, if there's only one out there and you want to kill it, we're going to put some lead in its shoulder. So um, it's getting a little breezy. It's, 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 it's been overcast since lunch. Uh, rain's coming through tonight and the cold front's coming behind it. So um, it's a little warm. It's about 68, 69 degrees. Uh, I'm getting breezy out of the south. Like I said, and um, winds are gonna switch tonight to the northwest, west, northwest. And we're planning on hunting um, the creek bottom tomorrow evening after his um, shooting team practice. So, um, hoping to get two deer this weekend because we don't know how many more days we, we've got to hunt here at the um, Rushland property. It's, it's, it's in the process of being sold, unfortunately. So, um, we're gonna enjoy every second we can while we're out here and um, kill as many deer as possible. So we'll see y'all in the box. Humid. His front's coming through and it's gonna rain. 
Shane and I. A deer might not move till right at dark, uh, but they should feed for this rain, hopefully. So, we'll see what happens. We just got back to the truck. G-Man lay one down in the corn pile. I mean, DRT. So we're gonna go up there and see what he's got. Um, we know he's got forks, so he's at least a four point. Don't know if he's got brow tines because we didn't give him time to look at us. Um, we got the whole thing on video, which is pretty neat. Uh, my first video of a kill. Well, no, I'm sorry. My third, because I filmed Homeboy killing two last year on video so this is our third we're like <laughs> experienced now we're gonna ride on in here and um see what we got we'll see y'all at the deer all right check out this scrape right here again that's a fresh scrape see it yeah check out his front leg how about getting his front leg out of his horn so we can get get video of him there you go. He ain't gonna hurt you. Dang it. <laughs> All right, guys, here he is. It's October 28, 2017, opening day of North Carolina muzzleloader season. What do you think, G Man? I think I'm very lucky that he walked out, and I'm glad that I could take a shot that at such a good buck, and I'm. Uh, and I'm glad that he just walked out. All right, we're gonna get him loaded up, loaded up in the truck and down the road to Craven's Deer Processing. <laughs> 